good y'all welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions it's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger for you guys now as you guys can obviously tell we are in the garage we got the staying in this joint it's finally back up and running as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail of this video we are installing my stage 4 twin disc X ready clutch in this video um, I'm not even gonna lie the install was pretty smooth however this video is really all over the place just because I am moving and one of my um, one of the boxes actually has the battery for this camera all three of them and the charger for the batteries um, and as we're speaking this battery is about to die so if it does go out we will be switching over to the iPhone cam but basically the reason why the video is all over the place is because parts were coming in at different days now in the video i do mention that the clutch was delayed by a day um it was supposed to come in on the thursday ended up coming in on friday we had some pretty bad weather um you know what i mean the past week uh with rain and stuff like that flash floods and all that extra stuff so it was a little bit hard for shipping to get everything um to me according to the time that they were supposed to get here um, but nevertheless, we finally got the clutch in. Um, and when we got the clutch in, I also got another part that I have not done, um, uh, kind of revealed yet. I did drop a video telling you guys what I was going to be doing to my car as far as suspension. Um, and the suspension part is here. So y'all stay tuned for that unboxing. And if you haven't seen that video, make sure you go back and go check it out. Um, now as far as this video goes, so... I just want to go ahead and talk about um, why I went with the X graded clutch instead of going with the Master or Mantic or any of those other uh, clutch, the monster clutches that they have out there. All of those other options are definitely tremendous options and I could have got it. You know what I'm saying? I could have definitely, you know what I'm saying, went ahead and got one of those clutches however i started reading the um comments man one thing that i do when i'm about to make a very big purchase as far as the modification goes for the car man i read the comments i really do the reviews are gonna go a very long way if you guys don't do that make sure you know what i'm saying go ahead and try to build that habit now um because it'll take you a very long way um a lot of people were saying that the the McLeod, uh, McLeod, a twin disc clutch, 800 horsepower clutch was the best clutch to go with. However, there was also a good amount of reviews saying that that clutch um, was actually pretty bad. Now, I've been told that you have to go with the RXT and not the RST. Um, apparently, the RST blows up in transmissions and we don't want that um at all so i went ahead and i was reading i kept reading uh, i also wanted to get a clutch that came with a flywheel because the stock flywheel that i had on the car um it wasn't terrible but it definitely would have needed to be sanded down and re-smoothened and then on top of that um, i wanted to go ahead and upgrade the clutch because as you guys know the mt82 was a very 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 big weak point on these cars man and once you get up into like the 500 horsepower plus range, I believe um, the transmissions like to go ahead and go poof. So with that being said, man, I wanna do everything possible to kind of build this transmission to be ready for the power that I'm gonna throw at it. And with that being said, I went ahead and got the twin ditch stage uh, stage four clutch from X Ready. Now, one of the reasons why I got this clutch is not only because of the great reviews that I saw, but also they have a one year, 20,000 mile warranty on the clutch. Anything happens, it treaks out, it spazzes out, blows up, whatever the case may be. All I gotta do is show them the little insurance card and they'll send me a new one. You can't beat that, you know what I'm saying? You really can't, especially with the MT82, man. <sighs> This transmission is very weak. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's one of the weaker points of the vehicle. So with that being said, you know what I mean? I'm trying my best to go ahead and build up all the weak points around the transmission. That way it'll be able to hold some power. So that's why I went with the clutch that I went with. Now with all of that being said, man, let's go ahead and roll the video, show you guys the install and yeah, let's get it.
guys, I am at work, but I do have my vlogging camera, so let's go ahead and switch over to that. All right, y'all. As y'all can see, we got the Xready Street Racing Twin Series Stage 4 Clutch. Let's go ahead and pop this box out the box and take a look at it. Yes, yeah, sir. So, you know, don't mind the other disturbances, but you get the stickers, you get the alignment tool. I guess this is my, yeah, this is for my insurance. And you get the actual, the actual clutch. Okay. Boom. Here it is, y'all. My stage four clutch, man. Cannot pick this up with one hand, but my stage four clutch. I'm super stoked comparing this joint to the one that's over there. I know this one is gonna be a lot better as far as even before the clutch was burnt out. Um, this is gonna be at a lot, a uh, lot better, and it's gonna be able to hold a lot more power. I'm not 100% sure um, what the exact horsepower numbers are that these max out at, but it's a stage four, so it definitely should be able to hold whatever I'm about to do to the stain. I ain't finna go too crazy, but finally, stage four clutch got delayed by a day. It's finally here. Finally gonna get the stain back up and running. The next day. What is good, y'all? It's your boy, Back to the Money Man. Back with another banker for y'all. Y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy, Jay. <laughs> All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, we have the stock flywheel right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this joint off. Got the new flywheel. When you guys take off your flywheel, you do have to throw away these bolts. You cannot reuse these bolts. So go ahead and go up to the Ford dealership, get you all eight of them joints. It's gonna run you about 70 some dollars for them. Go ahead, get them, because um, you definitely cannot reuse these bolts. No cap. All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, flywheel is on, clutch is on. I to go ahead and start taking care of the rest. But yeah, man, back at the house now, as you guys can see, again, got the staying in the garage. Um, we do have a check engine light. <laughs> if it ain't one thing, it's another. Um, I run ahead and read the code. I'll put a picture up on the screen right now. It says that apparently it's a common issue with coyotes. Um, I can already see the comments now. It's a Ford. <laughs> I can see them now. It's cool, man. Y'all make sure y'all go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you're happy to see the Mustang back on the road. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. We're on the road to 3K subscribers, man. We're almost there. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.